Hello, hello! So today I want to talk about something very important for many people and I know that because I've been hearing that uh, recently a lot. This is also my story and the story of many amazing people, a beautiful, you know, kind heart. Um, and the problem is that they feel used by other people. Hello, hello, first person is here. Hello, Maria, nice to see you here. So the problem is that, and I can see another person, say hello. Please watch me and make comments, ask questions, because those are question and answers, uh, or just put your own comments if you, if you wish, if you, if you would like to. But I will be continue. So the, the topic today is actually, why am I feeling used by other people? Why the connection is not genuine? Why I feel actually kind of taken for granted? Hello, hello, Hannah, nice to see you here. Uh, why is this happening to me? And I know it resonates with me as well. I've been uh, feeling like that most of my life actually, and I couldn't, you know, find the solution for that. And today I don't want to focus on mainly on why this is happening. It, if it's happened, if happened, but what you can do, how you can transform it and shift it because if you feel used if you feel take it for granted it means that you give too much and people take advantage of that because they feel it's not that they want to harm you but they feel that you can give them all of that that you are the person that make it happen for them and this is something that you have, you know, that you do probably spontaneously, automatically like that, because you've been, you know, told maybe since you remember how to do it. And you just, you know, um, act on autopilot kind of. And uh, it is a way to change it. But first, let me explain what is happening. So even before you think about it, your energy goes straight to that person. And your first thought, your first you know, reaction is like, how I can serve you, how I can help you. And because maybe you are empathetic, you are a very sensitive person and you feel others, you are a very deep person, you know that they need something. They need the help, they need the support, they need the connection, whatever it is, they need it. And you feel that needs, you feel their gaps. And it's sometimes it's so rewarding because you may feel that I love it. I can connect with someone very deeply. I can help, I can serve, I feel important. But the vibration is very low and it's not aligned with who you are. Why? Because after that, when you see that, you know, you gave the person and gave and gave and it wasn't reciprocated in the way that you would like to be or when you ask for help, when you wanted to be supported, when you wanted to feel accepted or understood and you're not getting that from that person, you feel a big, big resentment. You actually feel pain. You feel such a big disappointment. And this is the proof, actually. This is the proof that what you did before, it just, you know, like the domino effect of how you feel in this moment, because emotionally you are attached to that person and you have the expectation that that person owes you something because of what you gave before. And most often I can see that, that People do something without even being asked and they just do it automatically. And I want you to really understand it that this is not the way. Even if you are asked to do something, hold on, really hold on. Take time for yourself and ask yourself how you can serve yourself first. Is that situation are going, you know, to bring you benefits? Not right now, but in the long run. 
what if I gave, then I would like to receive as well. What if I connect so deeply and it will be amazing? Could that really be amazing in the long term? And quite often, especially in a romantic relationship, when people, you know, date and they feel, you know, the sense of attraction and so on, and kind of like these butterflies and so on, those people who have big hearts and they are kind, they want to give so much, so much. And they just know, you know, gifts, surprises, you know, words, anything time, service, and it turns out that after that, they don't receive equally. And this is something very important that I all would like also, you know, to point out. The matter that you give so much, it's beautiful, it's amazing, it only shows how beautiful, like, soul you are, how much you have to offer and this is something that I don't want you know to deny, I don't want you to suppress, but don't give to another person, instead give to yourself. Really, really give to yourself. And check first, is my cup filled? Is my bar full? Seriously, is my bar full? Because if it's not, then don't give to another person. You need to be first full, fulfilled, so you can give. Because if you expect another person, hello Malva, nice to see you here. If you expect another person to give you back, it's not going to happen. First of all, you have such a big expectation because you already gave so much. And quite often, and I will be honest, not many people can, you know, meet your expectations. And what is second? The other person feels that it's actually easy. I don't have to give so much because that person give all the time and so on and so on. And you feel used. You feel taken for granted. After a while, you feel like, you know, someone took advantage of you. And of course, it's it's normal to feel like that, I can't deny, because the energy is not balanced when you give too much and don't receive. Of course, you will feel bad, because that's how on emotional state we act. So you need to prevent yourself from feeling like that. You need to prevent from milk being split by taking action before it's going to happen really really taking time for yourself and knowing what is best for you and i want to also mention that it's the probably the hardest and that's what for me was uh, most of my life and for people i work with that for the loved ones such as close friends family members and also partners it's probably the hardest to say no and really set your healthy boundaries. Because first of all, you feel you may lose someone. So the fear is massive. This is something that must be cleared up for sure. The second of all, you are fearful of the consequences. It's like you imagine that you will be rejected, you will be abandoned. But the truth is, you will be rejected and abandoned, fe being fearful of that. But when you step in your power, in your truth, the vibration of the universe never allow you to uh, confront with something like that because you will be above fears and your doubts. You will be moving into the direction of feeling great with yourself, feeling aligned with yourself, being in truth and being very clear who you are and what you stand for. And you need to really clear up that clutter, whatever is holding you back. Because if you feel that you've tried and the situation is happening and repeating constantly, you need to really change it and take it seriously. Take a serious actions and change 
in a different way, different strategy. Don't promise yourself that next time I will learn the lessons, next time I will do all those things, next time, because what you will do actually, you will close your heart and stop connecting with other people. Therefore, you also stop connecting with yourself. And this is such a, you know, normal thing that we move from giving, over giving into not giving, completely closing ourselves. And as a reaction of that, after, as the result of that, you closing up from receiving the abundance, the love, the opportunities, because you don't trust anymore. You don't trust people. You don't trust even yourself. First and the most important, you don't trust yourself. Because if you feel that you've been hurt and you blame yourself or blame another person or the circumstances, it doesn't matter. You will be fearful of making the same mistakes because you remember the pain, what happened. And to clear this up, you need to free yourself from the past and really shift shift your perception shift your mindset go into the core of where is the problem and how you need to react and act in a completely different way and i know that like one of ladies here i'm not going to say the name because the name because i don't have the permission but she's watching here and she sent me beautiful message this morning sharing with me that she actually learned through the program with me, through the um, Attract Your Life Partner program, how to really tune into your own heart and know what is your truth and not looking at other people and really thinking and feeling what is about me that is true not checking, not comparing myself with anyone else, how we live, what we achieve, what we have, where we are in our life, but really checking in where I am and what I want. And if you achieve this kind of state, because this state, it's not just emotional state, it's the mindset, it's the logic, it's the balance, an alignment between mind and the heart, you will find completely new life. The life that is so free and so liberating. The life that will allow you to connect with new opportunities and also new qualities of connections. You will find new qualities of connections and I want to also share something. One of my clients, I think it was a few months ago, she experienced something that happened to her a few times already. And uh, every time was very painful, even the last time. Uh, luckily, we were doing that during the program. And uh, the problem was that uh, she wanted to help her bestie so much that she sacrificed herself, her time, energy, everything. And she expected only one thing from that friend. And it turns out she can't get it. And she thought that it's such a small thing compared to what she sacrificed, what she did. And when we unfold that and healed it, it turns out that actually she said that she felt sorry because of someone's pain. And this is the story of so many people. This was the story of me as well. If you feel someone's pain, someone's problems, or maybe people are like, you know, very upfront and they like, you know, they, they just talk to you about everything and you feel very overwhelmed, you need to disassociate yourself from that. Find your space where you are by yourself, with your own feelings, with your own thoughts, with your own truth. 
And I know that we love to have, you know, deep, real connections with people. I love that too. But what happened to that lady? It wasn't actually real. It was almost cried for like attention or help. It was kind of, I want to help because I feel that person. And I asked her, what about you? Did you think how you can help yourself? And how did you feel after why? It's not even about being used, but doing all those things for another person. And what happened, that client felt so exhausted, so tired, because giving takes lots of energy, lots of effort. And if you can't give back to yourself and no one is going to give to you, you are feeling lack of that. So you are exhausted, emotionally you are drained, you are in a confusion with yourself. You're closing your heart, as I said before. And the only solution that you feel and see in that moment is, I'm not going to trust anyone anymore. If I can't trust my friends, my bestie, if I can't trust my family or my partner, who else I can trust? No one. I can't trust the world. And this is, you know, the like kind of effect one after another when you move into the victim role and feeling really disconnected from your true essence. And what is happening, your inner child, that insecure you, immature you in you, feels so in pain, heartbroken almost. And your responsibility is to hold yourself up and really, you know, take that little one and say, no, you actually safe. I'm here to stand up for yourself. I'm here to stand up for myself, for my rights. And I'm not going to disconnect. I'm not going to above that and pretend that nothing happened but walking like kind of I'm better than that because that's what happened quite often with people. They either withdraw and then feel worse than others or they like their pride is like so high. They're like, I'm better than that. But this is the suppression of the truth. Actually, you are not connecting with your feelings. And what I do in a process with people, really going back into your heart and having a beautiful, real conversation, no filters, no bullshit, and saying what is the truth, where is the core problem, and finding the solution, the best solution that only works for you. Because, lovely one, it's not that what I do, it works for everyone. And I always say that when I work with people and that's what I love it, it's the beauty of, you know, something new coming up every time with every person that I'm only guiding you to your truth that serves you so you can feel in your power. You can feel like you are rocking, you thriving. And the most important, you feel so free to be you. And as a result of that, you know that no one is going to harm you because you know what you re represent. You know that kind of no one can fuck with you. And it's not about, you know, being uh, ego, center or kind of I don't care and pretending it's more about the world is not scary people can't hurt me because I have such a big container to keep all the power within me and use it whenever I need it for myself it's not even as a protection it's more something that expands 
from you outside. It's kind of hard for me to explain it because it's such energetic work. But once you experience that, you will know what I mean. And I'm sure that like women that and and uh, yeah, mm, people that work with me, they know what does it mean. The difference after energetic clearing and coming back to who you truly are. And that clear essence of you, it's so powerful. It's so confident. It's so worthy and so lovable. It's amazing. It's unique. And to do that, you really need to find your own space, how to take care of yourself, your needs. Don't promise yourself the same things. If you repeat it, the same strategy, the same, you know, problem few times already, and you know that, don't lie to yourself. Make a promise to do things differently. Go into the bottom and resolve it once and for real. Because otherwise, if you lie to yourself and deny and pretend, you know how your worthiness and confidence is going down and down and down. And instead of going up and growing, evolving, leveling up, you are losing yourself more and more. And I say always that no matter what people tell you, what advices you will get, it's not going to work for you because you are disconnected from yourself. And maybe you know your besties, your friend, your family, your loved one will finally like say sorry or like, you know, try to collaborate, like find, you know, some com compromise or something like that. You still feel like you lose because you are not standing in your power. But the biggest problem is if people, if people don't want to obey to your rules, because once you felt your needs haven't been met and you try to make everyone and everything clear, perfect and peace, Oh, I don't see like that. Oh, the storm is coming. <laughs> I don't see. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> the connection has been lost. Um, so where I finish, if you feel that the person doesn't want to obey to your rules, I want you to really give up on that. It doesn't mean that you give up on that person. You certainly don't give up on yourself, but you're making a space for yourself to come back to you, to your power. And the best is really by healing and taking time and acknowledging, observing self-reflection, how you can really come back to your own truth. And when you focus on yourself, you will see that the more you focus on yourself and the more you rise the vibration, the more better quality of connection you will find. But please, please, please don't have the expectation that it will happen like that, that you have, you know, the deadline or something like that and you're expecting it will happen within a month or even a week. Huh? I'm not saying it's not possible, but don't be attached to that. What I'm actually saying is that you're doing this for yourself for unlimited time. It's a lifetime progress and process for you. Because every time you will connect with yourself more and more and focus on yourself, you will see that your emotional state is improving. Your whole well-being is improving. The connections with others are improving. 
your opportunities are showing up in the most you know unexpected ways because you will be operating from the space that it's aligned with you who you are and everyone knows that people who stand in their powers they achieve so much in the shortest time but they don't allow others people or you know circumstances to take charge of them of their life they know exactly who they are and what they represent and it's not about you know being serious and always caught up it's like doing doing it's about really enjoying who you are and focusing on yourself and i also say you know to people working with me that it takes how long it takes but for now focus on yourself we are doing everything for you because you matter the most and you finally said yes to yourself you finally commit to your happiness your joy your dreams not your besties not your families not even your loved ones whoever it is you are committed to yourself and by that you will be receiving more and more from the universe so lovely one if that's you and you are ready to really let go of the old crappy you know mindset beliefs energy that it's really full of scarcity or doubts it's full of unreal connection and when i say unreal i actually mean not genuine when you going up and down and sometimes it's good but another time you feel like you know really rejected or abandoned or betrayed neglected whatever it is or just you know really disappointed and frustrated then you need to really clear this up so you don't experience that because this is actually this ruins your opportunity to go go closer to your dream life to the life that you want to have which is life full of freedom, joy, abundance and fulfillment. So if that's you and you're ready to commit to yourself and say, yes, I want that because I'm a real <laughs> deal and I know what I'm worthy of. I want to have it all. Then please connect with me. Let's have a chat. I'm here to support you and see where you are what do you need and give you the advice that it's necessary to move you from where you are to the next stage whatever it will be so lovely one take care of yourself remember stand in your power don't close your heart but really feel what is your truth and take care of yourself first make yourself priority every time not just now but for the rest of your life take care